A new study on loneliness finds it's as twice it's twice as unhealthy as obesity when you reach a certain age and actually increases your risk of premature death. Joining us now, Dr. Debbie, Assistant Professor of Anesthesiology and Rehabilitation at NYU School of Medicine. So a very interesting study out of the University of Chicago took a look at 2,000 people over the age of 50. Why physically would there be an effect from loneliness? Well, so these researchers actually were able to figure that out. They found that a lot of stress hormones, such as cortisol, go up at that time when you're lonely. Now, cortisol is something that goes up. It's like adrenaline. So it goes up when you're under stressful situations. But when you have it up all the time, it can actually cause problems like high blood pressure, depression. It can lead to problems with sleep. And it could actually kill you. What do you think of the comparison to obesity? Because that really hit home twice as unhealthy as obesity. You think of obesity as the biggest thing threatening our country right now, but is loneliness really the problem? Well, th some of these things might be related. So we've seen this, a lot of times we'll see this with older people, let's say, where a parent or grandparent may pass away, and then the surviving spouse kind of declines and may pass away soon afterwards, and we've never really understood why. But now we're seeing that one of the reasons might be because these stress hormones go up, and also there's factors where, let's say you live alone, and uh, something happens to you, like you have a heart attack or something else, there may not be someone there to call 911. So there's loneliness emotionally, and there's also being alone physically that could add to this issue. Exactly, and these two go together. So sometimes, let's say if somebody gets arthritis, which is usually common with older age, if you develop arthritis and you have a lot of pain, you may start to become more isolated just because you don't go out as much, and that in turn can make you lonely as well. One of the lead researchers in this said that the world is experiencing a silver tsunami as baby boomers reach the age of retirement and that people really need to prepare for that part of your life and making sure you stay connected. Now as a doctor, I'm just curious, yeah. Does it matter if it's a connection face to face or with the explosion of technology, you can Skype someone, you can FaceTime them, you can email them. Does it matter how you're connecting? Well, I think it depends more about the closeness of those connections and how satisfied you are with them. So some people like to be alone. So if they want to be alone and they like being on the internet and kind of keeping contact with people that way, they probably don't have these same like the same rise in their stress hormones. They may not have the same problems, but the reality is over time, most people do feel some dissatisfaction, at least according to these self reports and stuff. So if you have that dissatisfaction, then you are more likely to have some of these problems. So I think, I think it is a big issue, especially between the 80s and now, uh, the number of people who actually want closer contacts and better relationships has gone up. Very interesting. Dr. Debbie, great to see you as always. Oh, nice to see you too. Thank you. Thank you. John?